Good day, dear learners and teachers. I am Reverie I. Vargas, a junior high school mathematics teacher. In this video, we will explore on how we can use class calculator in systems of linear equations. The examples and steps to be discussed in this presentation are also indicated in the Casio book on system of linear equations. The Casio emulator is a great tool for the teachers to simulate the process of learning and computation in class. In this lesson, we will be exploring on Menu 1 Calculate Mode as we learn and teach systems of linear equation with Casio ClassWiz. We know that a system of linear equation with a graph of a parallel line has no solution and contains inconsistent system. A graph of intersecting lines has one solution with consistent system and independent equation. A graph of coinciding lines have infinite solutions with consistent and dependent system. If the ratios of the coefficient of x in the system, the coefficient of y in the system, and the constant terms are equal, then the graph defines coinciding lines with dependent and consistent system. If the ratios of the coefficient of x in the system and the coefficient of y in the system are equal and the ratios of the constant terms of the system are not equal with the other two ratios, then the graph defines parallel lines with inconsistent system. And if the ratios of the coefficient of x in the system and the coefficient of y in the system are not equal to each other, then the graph defines intersecting lines with independent and consistent system. Let's have an example. Our task is to classify each system as consistent, inconsistent, or dependent. Let's get the ratio coefficient of x and the coefficient of y in the constant terms. So first, let's click on, let's key in coefficient of x. We input 9 as coefficient of x of the first equation. Fraction key followed by coefficient of x of the second equation. Then, arrow right, we click on alpha, integral for colon. Next, let's key in coefficient of y. We input negative 4, then fraction key, then coefficient of y for the second equation, that's 1. Then, we click on arrow right again. We click on alpha integral for colon to appear, and then we identify the constant term. Again, the constant terms are 13 for the first equation and 15 for the second equation. Now, let's see if they have the same ratio for all the values. Let's click on equal sign. 9 over 6 when simplified is 3 halves. Negative 4 over 1 when simplified is negative 4. And 13 over 15 is sim when simplified is 13 over 15. Since the ratio of the coefficient of x, coefficient of y, and constant terms are not the same, then the graph defines intersecting lines. Therefore, the kind of system that we have is independent and consistent system. Let's go to another example. The same task, we're asked to classify each system as consistent inconsistent or dependent. Again, let's get the ratio of coefficient of x, coefficient of y, and constant terms. So how do we do that? Again, we go to menu 1. To identify whether they will have the same value in its simplest form, let's key in the coordinates for x. So we key in 6, fraction, and then 8. Arrow right, alpha integral for colon, then we key in coefficient of y. So the ratio for y would be 9 over 12. Let's key in 9, fraction, arrow down, and 12. This time, for the last ratio, the constant term, we click in arrow right, alpha integral for colon and the ratio 12 over 16. So let's key in 12 fraction 16. Now to know the simplest form of the given ratio, 
Let's click on equal sign. 6 over 8 for the coefficient of x when simplified is 3 fourth. 9 over 12 for the coefficient of y when simplified is 3 fourth. And 12 over 16 when simplified is 3 fourth. Then the graph defines coinciding lines. This means the kind of system that we have for this system is dependent and consistent system. Let's have another example. With the same task, we're asked to classify each system as consistent, inconsistent, or dependent. Again, let's get the ratio of coefficient of x, coefficient of y, and a constant term. So let's start again. Using our Casio class whiz, we click on menu 1. We get the ratio of the coefficient of x starting with 5, fraction, key, and then 15 for the denominator. Arrow right, we have alpha integral for colon. Then let's get the ratio of the coefficient of y. We have negative 9, fraction key, negative 27 for the denominator. Then, arrow right, we have alpha integral. For the ratio of the constant term, we key in 2, followed by fraction key, and 8. Now, to see if they have the same value, we click on equal sign. 5 over 15 is 1 third. Negative 9 over negative 27 is 1 third. 2 eighths is 1 fourth. Since the ratio of coefficient of x coefficient of y are equal, but the ratio of the constant term is not equal. Therefore, the kind of graph that we have for this system are parallel lines. This means the kind of system that we have is inconsistent system. That's it for now. We are positive that our teachers will be able to share this wonderful learning experience with our students.